remember when you want to rotate you need to have an angle you don't need these sliders now so you can hide them but uh, you need angle because of course if we have a 90 degree angle but the angle can be anything so for that reason I'm gonna click on the slider and click first icon and then choose angle the only thing I always suggest change this alpha to a other name let's say uh, spin so I'm just using SPIN a name for this angle increment you can adjust if it is done just put it there now for rotation you can always do type ROTAT so you can see the command is rotate and then when you select rotate you're gonna see there are options for you so rotate object angle with point angle axis of rotation etc so let's let's understand what we want to do so i think we want to do with the second option if you check the the problem what we had a rectangle rotated by 90 degree clockwise about its center so let's find out the center of this square so i'm making it a standard view so let's find out the center so you just type center and then you can click conic or quadratic but no so for geometry you can always select centroid so centroid the polygon is poly1 yeah here we have so now we have a center and now we can use the same command what we were trying to do earlier sorry as I said go to move click and now let's you can also rotate from these things as well so like it's not always to write as a command you can also see these options reflect rotate translate so you want to rotate around the point so click now it says select the objects we are going to select object and then the point and then the angle so don't enter the angle you just write spin and remember you have the option counterclockwise or clockwise so let's do the clockwise and it's done so you change the angle look at this of course as i said earlier you can always change color or the opacity whichever you like so this way you have a rotation done and you can have for any shape it's not a problem that you can't do with uh, squares or rectangles we can do with any particular shape and point can be also anywhere so if you don't want to have the point e let me show you how you can do it so i'm just gonna type this delete this and let's just type rotate when you type rotate and then you can have three things this object angle point angle whatever so we are going to do rotate poly one and then angle spin and then point so the point if you don't want e you can actually define any point let's say zero zero by default it's going to be zero zero but if you want to define something else you can let's say point b now that same polygon uh, the square now it is being rotated around b you can see now look so this is really easy to do and also enjoyable to your students so they can actually play around to find out the coordinates as I said earlier they can read the coordinates from the grid if it is not possible you can always do the same thing as we did here like rotate a particular point also so if you think let me just do it here delete rotate and then enter the instead of particular object you enter the point for example a angle same spin and then point is B yeah so you have this as a right the reflection or sorry rotation of a 
so let's let's just try it out for 90 degree so if you have the 90 degree angle look so for point A you can actually make them same colored let's say blue blue and B because we are rotating about it so make it black so A and E now they can see the coordinates so for A of course if you want to see on the screen just click anywhere on the screen and then click on the point right click go to show label name and value this is always helpful click on E as well show label name and value so now they can easily understand 1.5 1.5 why 4.5 negative 1.5 because of 90 degree rotation so you can actually explain if you think uh, because we have taken B as the center so instead if you want to use 0 0 that is also possible so you just need to change the point around which we were rotating so instead of B if you want you can put 0 0 and for the whole polygon also you can do that so here is the polygon don't do with B just type 0 and 0 see now it is actually justified that yeah so rotation you can do with objects from here or from any image I mean I'm gonna show you with an image quickly so I'm not gonna save it just delete if you want to save I hope you know these three bars and then save give a name and save I'm just reloading it so that I can show you for the images first I need an angle and change the name spin done now let's add an image so add an item image go to browse and then just select the image which you want I have an image of hexagon click and here you are so I have an image you can adjust the size with these two points so I have adjusted you can hide these points and then you can do the same procedure you can have a free point first of all about which you want to rotate okay let's do it so just type rotate object angle axis of rotation or point whichever you like so object is picture one like yeah picture one angle spin and the point is C here you go so you can move your point this question can be asked or created as an activity when you want to know or you want to ask your students what is the center of rotation right so uh, they can set up coordinates of both objects and then find out where it fits perfectly with particular angle so right now the angle was 46 so you can set up an angle let's say 90 degrees yeah so 90 degrees there and then they can see if it is in the center that's how it's gonna look like if it is 0 0 that's where it is so this is actually going to help them to understand the rotation rotational symmetry so many things yeah because if you put in the center right uh, of course i'm not correct here but i'm just showing you so they can see how many times it is repeating right for what particular angle it is going to match so they can actually play around that yes for zero degree it's perfect and the next one is going to be at 60 degree yeah which is correct because of uh, central angle is going to be 60 degree after that it is going to be 120 right this way you can explore different types of rotational symmetry do try and thank you do watch part one and part two thanks please subscribe and comment